Okay, today I'm going to talk about a new product that we have here at Learbird. It's a walking stick that also functions, that has a flashlight in it that looks like this, but it also has a stun device in it. I decided to offer this to customers because the last online course that I produced was titled How to Deal with Dominant and Aggressive Dogs. And there's a good part of that course, a module and segments in that course, on how to deal with uh, off-leash dogs. If you're walking your dog on leash and your dog is attacked by an off-leash dog, what do people do? Obviously the answer is don't ever go back there again. But if you're in the middle of a problem, what are you going to do? Well, this is an option for you. I will use the example of a woman that we had communication with last week that was disabled in a wheelchair, had her service dog, and she lives in a large city, and the only place that she can go is there are other people walking dogs, but there are other people that let their dogs run loose. And every week, two or three times, she says, her dogs are approached by off-leash dogs, and some of them are aggressive. No, about, no amount of screaming and hollering or anything can turn these dogs around until she got one of these. This stun device is turned on with a button on the handle where you can push the button and you can see the light come on. That means the stun device is now activated. To use it, there's a button on the other side. So there's a cover here that covers the probes. It comes off just like that and you get two of them so that if you lose this you got a spare you lose it you're going to get mad at yourself and you're going to have to use your spare so this is what it looks like you have your light on with that or off and you got the four probes here they're pretty they're pretty sharp the point i want to make about this is i'm going to turn it on here so we know it's got power this is reflective tape for if you're going to walk with it at night now in my opinion 99 percent of the time all you're going to have to do is use the sound with this if you have a stray dog or really if some guy is trying to molest a woman that's all you need right there 99% of the dogs out there are going to turn and run at that. They don't want nothing to do with this. And 99% of the guys out there that are thinking about mugging you are not going to want to do this. Okay, you go in here. Here's your batteries in here. This screws off. Keep the chain out of the way. When you put it back on, it's up to you on how tight you want it. If you screw it in really tight, you're going to have to use a screwdriver to get it out. Comes out like that, so you're not going to lose it. And then there's three of these three volt batteries, and you can buy them on Amazon. So to put them in, at least that's the cheapest way. I have a flashlight that I use, a very, very bright flashlight and that's where I buy my replacement batteries. Put them in there. Keep your chain out of the way. There's a bit of a spring. And then once you get it in, I got it tight. Once you get it in, you can test it to see if it works by this button right here. That turns the stun part of it on. So when you turn it on, see how the light did not light? That means I screwed something up. Didn't light, didn't light. So you always want to test this. So I'm going to go back over to here and take it out 
and see what I did wrong. And there's nothing wrong with showing this in the product video because it's going to happen to people. So they all went in. That, that's the way I put them in and the light didn't start. So this time I'm going to put them in that way. Once again, once again, the first time I put them in, I had the positive side going that way and it didn't work. So now I'm going to put it in with the negative side that way. They're all in the same direction. And we know it's working because it's blinking already over here. Ah! Keep the chain out of the way. There we go. Uh, there we go. You can feel it when you got it. You know it's working because the, the light's on. Right there. You can turn it off. Finish screwing this in. And once again, keep the chain out of the way. So there it is. When it's right, this turns it on. That just tells you that the power's on. That's not how to, to, how to activate the stun part of this. There you just push this button here. And I'll show you that in a second. Turn it off. In my opinion, 99.99% of the dogs out there, stray dogs out there, when you push the button on the handle after you've activated this, are gonna come through this. They're just not gonna do it. And if they attack, let's say you have a very small dog that's attacked by a large dog, if you have to use this, I will 99% guarantee that that dog is gonna leave the scene in a hurry. It's gonna be over and it's gonna be done. Do I th like the idea of having to use a stun device on a dog? Hell no, who would? We love dogs. But you know what? Go to our website and go to the URL we're going to put at the bottom because you're going to see a lot of photographs there that people have sent me and asked me to post on our site so that the average person understands how dangerous it is to try and break up a dog fight. It is really, really dangerous. And if you can prevent it by not going in that area, by keeping your dogs apart, by keeping your dogs away from stray dogs, that's the way to handle it. I'll be honest, this is a tool that you can use to help keep you and your dog safe. And if you're a single person and you walk at night in an area where you're concerned about muggers, this will get their attention too. Odds are, odds are, muggers coming up to bother you and you give them a little of that, <laughs> I think they'll leave the scene in a hurry.